Yesterday, I gave a press conference and I gave eight steps that we are taking to prevent this from happening. You are quite right because all the cases that we have seen, the problem lies not only within the hospital and the doctors, but also with the patients themselves. Now, I'm not blaming anyone, but the last case, case number four, the patient came very late for treatment. The symptoms started on the 16th of July. The parents were asking her to go to hospital, but the patient did not want to go to the hospital. So finally came on the 26th, but died on the 28th, because the moment they came to the hospital, the lungs were full. We what we call ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. If you look at the first three cases, they all started fairly early. But when they arrive at the hospital, it's rather late, about seven to ten days. So what does this mean? First, I have already mentioned several times, patients with H1N1, if they have certain risk factors, they must seek treatment early. What are the risk factors? One is obesity. Two of the patients who died are obese. So I say if you are obese, the risk of getting complications is so much higher. Two, you have comorbid conditions. You are diabetic, you got renal failure, you got chronic respiratory uh, disease. Come to the hospital early, don't wait. And thirdly, what we recommend is this. If your immune system, the immunodeficiency, if your immune system is low, for instance, you've got cancer, or you're on steroids, where it suppresses the immune system and all that sort of thing, you must come to the hospital early. That is why in today's paper, I would like to urge all our healthcare providers, doctors, outpatient, uh, general practitioners, family medicine specialists, hospital doctors, to be on high alert. If anybody comes with severe pneumonia, irrespective of what you think the cause is, take swaps for H1N1 and start treatment with Tamiflu immediately. And of course, pregnant mothers. The risk is higher in people who are pregnant. The only way to prevent all these deaths, ladies and gentlemen, is to seek treatment early. A lot depends on the rakyat. The moment you are not well, you ask yourself, is this ordinary flu? It may be, because it can be quite mild. But if you find it's not getting better, or you find that it's getting, doesn't seem right, because in addition to the flu, you're getting chest pain, you're getting diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, go and seek treatment early. And doctors now, no excuse. The moment they get admitted, you must start treatment immediately. I think everybody should already by now know about H1N1. Correct? But whether they are applying or they are, whether they are following the advice of the Minister of Health is another matter. Because people still take things very lightly. Malaysians are a very contented lot. But now, every day we are reporting one death. So maybe now they will sit up and take notice. So what I'm trying to say, although initially everybody say the well, Ministry of Health is overplaying, overreacting, overdoing, macam macam. Now they realize it is for a good reason. Saya tak mahu lah suka use all the ambil tindakan dan sebagainya. Tapi saya kalau sekiranya masih lagi ada doktor-doktor yang boleh kata tidak mematuhi segala cadangan oleh Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia kita akan panggil doktor tu tanya kepada dia sama ada dia faham ke tak no maybe some of them may not understand I will call them and like the kid who died within 24 hours tu so the doctor one hour meninggal I want to find out from the doctor did you examine the patient and if so why is it not recorded in the OPD card how can a patient collapse just like that so I want to find out I want to go to the background of the doctor to find out whether they understand what is going on. And I would like to urge all doctors, at least buy a computer. I was told that some doctors don't even own a computer. Please buy a computer. Don't ask Ministry of Health to pay for a computer. 
buy your own computer and hook on to the internet and visit our website so that they will be up to date in the management of their patient. It's not just for H1N1, it's for CPD, Continuing Professional Development.